Hey guys, it's Craig from VPN Mentor. I want to thank you for joining us for another review and tutorial of VPN services. Today we're taking a closer look at Hide My Ass VPN, the features they offer, and how they stack up to the competition. We'll also be checking the performance of their networks, and we'll be giving their customer service a try and seeing how quickly they respond to our questions. Let's get to it. We're at their homepage and going through it, we can see they claim to have more than 870 servers in 190 countries, which is a really big number. It's also peer-to-peer -peer and streaming optimized with dedicated servers, which we'll test out later on. They also support encryption and have available support 24 seven. They also support five devices at once with unlimited bandwidth on all major operating systems, including the two biggest mobile ones. Looking at their privacy page, we can see that they do keep user logs, though at a very minimum, and that they offer cancellations and refunds under certain conditions, which is to be expected. All right, heading to their pricing plans now, we can see they offer a seven day free trial amongst three paid plans, but bear in mind that the free trial does include a full one year subscription purchase after the trial period expires. They also offer plans more suited for businesses with up to 30 simultaneous connections. We're happy to see they support all of the standard payment methods, but also a few less frequent ones like Skrill and Kiwi. At the same time, we'd like to see them start supporting some cryptocurrencies in the future, like Bitcoin, since we like anonymity. As always, before subscribing to them or any other VPN service, make sure you check our coupon page and get a better deal on your purchase. After selecting the plan of choice, we're going to log into our account, check out the dashboard and download the software. As you can see, the dashboard shows the basic information about your account, and at the bottom of it, you can see the shortcuts for downloading the software for setting up the VPN on your router or to manually set up the VPN without installing it at all. We're still going to install the software, so we're going back to the download page and getting the Windows version since it's what we're running on this machine. So we installed the program. Let's go ahead and check out the interface. The first of three main things to see here is the instant mode, which will auto connect to the best nearby server. The next thing to notice is the location mode, which lets you choose a server from the country of your choice. Third is freedom mode, and that auto connects to a server in a specific set of countries that are marked as free speech. The hamburger menu reveals shortcuts to the program's preferences, your account details, and a shortcut for contacting their support. Preferences let you choose whether the program should start itself on boot, run the service upon booting, and enable kill switch, which is cool. Account section shows basic account information. Moving forward, we're gonna check out how their servers perform, but first we need to test our local connection. So we're gonna clean our browser's cache so we have an adequate comparison. We're checking the IPs before and after starting it, and as you can see, we're now in Belgrade. Opening the speed test and running the test, which showed 10 MSP, 48.5 megabyte download, and 2.8 megabyte upload. Now, let's test the network with the VPN turned on. Again, cleaning the browser and running the VPN, it now shows us the correct location, Boston, Massachusetts, here in the USA. Let's run the speed test one more time. The ping is 114 MS, which is a bit higher, but nothing more than what we normally see. But the download speed is 43.3 megabytes per second, and the upload is 2.3. It's actually a really good result, even comparing it to our local connection. Since we tested out the speed of their server, let's check out whether we can stream some TV shows from Netflix. We're searching for The Walking Dead first from our local connection. We shouldn't be able to find it since it's not available in our country. And yes, that seems to be the case. Now let's try the same with the VPN on, with the same server we chose last time. Yes, the show does appear after a search, but unfortunately we weren't able to stream any episode. Since then, we did try a few other servers from other countries, but got the same result. Considering that the trial plan worked flawlessly, excluding Netflix, we don't need to request a refund for it, but we encourage you to do so if things do not meet your expectations. You can check out the help section on their website where their community may already have answers to your questions, or you can create a ticket and talk to their customer support. There's also a live chat box at all times at the bottom right corner of their website. In case you weren't satisfied with their service, we'd like to show you how to remove the VPN app from your system. On Windows 10, which is what we're using here, go ahead and right click on the Windows icon at the bottom left corner and go to Apps and Features. Here you can search the list for your app or just scroll until you find its location. Here's HMA. After selecting the app, press Uninstall and follow the procedure, which is usually the same for any other program. If you're interested in Hide My Ass VPN and would like to know more about the services they offer, I suggest going to their review page. There are lots of details about their service and many others, as well as expert reviews and current ratings, so you can compare between them, which will help you choose the right one for you. 
All right, so that wraps up today's testing. I'd like to leave you with a couple positives and a couple things we think could be improved. First, the positives. The website is very clean and easy to use. They support unlimited bandwidth on up to five devices. They have a crazy number of locations. They support all major operating systems. The program interface is very user-friendly and clean, and the server speed is excellent. All right, with that being said, here's what we think could be improved. First, we'd like to see Netflix stream its content with success. Secondly, we'd like to see them start accepting anonymous payment methods such as Bitcoin. I want to thank you for staying with us until the end of this video. It really means a lot. And if you like the content, please share, like, or comment below.